Okay, hello, this is Dalton at Daltonian's TFs, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Combiner Wars second limb for Bruticus, and that is going to be Vortex, which is just a repaint of Alpha Bravo we saw coming, and it came, so here it is. Um, yep, got the 13 steps, and it says here. Decepticon Vortex is the interrogator the Decepticons call when they need someone to cough up information. He'll take his targets for a wild ride, twisting, turning, looping, diving through the sky. It's enough to make any bot cough up their secrets, and then some. This bio very much reminds me of the bio we got with the universe slash Revenge of the Fallen, you know, or hell, even the Fall of Cybertron Vortex. I mean, it's pretty much the same. It, it's Vortex, so... Let's go ahead and get this guy open and go from there. Okay, and here we have Vortex out of the package and in helicopter mode. And yeah, it's just a repaint of Alpha Bravo, but I do like some of the colors on here. The yellow is another story, but it's kind of starting to grow on me, but you've got the purple stripe here. Let's go ahead and bring in Alpha Bravo. I mean, paint ops are pretty much the same location. Uh, you've got the, you know, the yellow replacing the copper, the purple replacing the blue, Autobot somewhere replacing Deceptic or Decepticon replacing Autobot. Got black here, teal there. On the other side is a different story, but we'll save that for robot mode. And you still got the little bit of like gunmetal gray, like we've seen on Blast Off. Overall, I do like the the muted gray, the bluish dark bluish gray. Uh, I will note right now there was a major QC problem with this guy. I will show that off in the middle of transformation. I will transform. Well, no, I'll, I'll wait and I'll just pause it and show you guys where it is. Uh, but it is right there, and I'll show that here in a minute. Uh, it does come with the same weapons, so you just got your Gatling gun slash display stand and the little machine gun. Uh, one problem though is already. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but there's already a stress mark and on Alpha Bravo on this section right in the same spot right there, it's cracking on both sides. So I wouldn't suggest, uh, I'd suggest not using these areas for the guns, especially right here too. I mean, you can see a lot of stress marks and I don't even have to really zoom in to show you those. So, afraid of those breaking. Anyways, let's go ahead and get these guys transformed real quick. Uh, one thing before I do that, we've got the comic book, and I really love the artwork there. Just like he's about to lunge at a wounded bot, I mean, obviously right here, and interrogate him using as much fear as he could. You got the little extended bio here if you want to read it. And there it is again, or more of it. That. And let's go back here. You've got the you know sketch base, which you know I would have preferred the design they had right here. I don't know why they didn't go with that. There was yeah that one right there. I wish they had gone for that because it even shows the machine guns on the sides. I don't know why they didn't go with that. It would have fit the characters so much better than what we got right now. But I'm sure there will be someone out there to make add-ons or replacement parts for them. Uh, I've already seen one where they've taken this and replaced it with more combat-oriented chopper, and then you know, same here, along with the machine guns for the arms. So there's that out there, and for blades, I've got the little landing skids. Other than that, okay, Just enough of me randomly. Let's go ahead and get these guys into robot mode. Okay, and here we have Vortex in robot mode, and like this I love the color scheme even a little bit of yellow here on the arms I mean it, it's not as bad in robot mode it's just in helicopter it sticks up in chopper mode it sticks out like a sore thumb even here still but with all the other colors now looks a lot better uh, I do love the Alpha Bravo head sculpt molded in this single cast teal seafoam green with the red visor it looks really good I mean again it's still just a complete repaint of Alpha Bravo I wish we could have gotten this head sculpt again as blast off as I said in that review would have worked out a lot better just my opinion though and you can see paint ups are different 
you got this little bit of red and yellow, I guess, to homage the stickers, which that's pretty cool. Uh, articulation exact same, but the problem that I had is right here on the back. So you can see this joint right here, or this little slot punched out. On Alpha Bravo, it's a lot easier to see, so right there. On my figure though, that wasn't punched out, so I actually had to mod it and carve it out, which it looks very bad back there. And I also had to file down, shave down the tab right here. So instead of looking like this, also now looks like this. So, I mean, it is unfortunate that this wave has started to become plagued with QC issues. But I, I ho hopefully you later down the line when we get more of these in stores, they fix it. I don't know if they will. Hopefully it's fixed with the G2 version because I really want to get those. Uh, as far as the weapons go, again, they're the exact same. So give him his little rifle and his big twin machine gun. So on that, there's not a whole lot else to say about Vortex other than he is a very good representation of the character, even though he's just a repaint of Alpha Bravo. I mean, it's hard not to say that with a line that's so heavy with repaints. But we'll get more into these figures when we get on when I get Onslaught and we take a look at the team as a whole along with Bruticus. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, the past few videos, if you want to check out some more stuff, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are down in the description below. If you want to see the transformation for Vortex, go ahead and check out the review on Alpha Bravo. It'll be up in one of the little card things or down in the description below. I'll probably just put it in both places. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome.